what's up guys welcome back to my channel it is monday easter monday here in jamaica also known as resurrection day or favorite day as christian today we're continuing our little bible reading series which i begun on good friday just really reflecting on what transpired before jesus was crucified and now that he's risen what happened so let's get into the video you should probably grab your bibles in the meantime You guys can just read along with me um, as we all just reflect and be mindful of all the events that transpired um, during Holy Week or well actually after the Lord was crucified and risen. So let's turn our Bibles. I'm going to be reading from my phone. I'm using the Bible app. And we're going to start from Luke chapter 24 and we're going to read up until the last verse which is verse 53. So let's begin. I'm going to be reading the NIV version. Um, so the Bible app allows you to change versions um, easily so you guys can just really switch to the NIV just so it's more uniformed as we're reading together. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the woman took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. This is the tomb of Jesus, by the way. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. So for those of you who don't know, these two men um, who are speaking with them um, are actually angels who were at the tomb of Jesus and they basically were just reminding them and saying, hey, Jesus told you that he was going to rise on day three, so why are you looking for a living person among the dead? That's so powerful. Then they remembered his words. Verse 9. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the woman because their words seemed to be like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself what had happened. And it's so like incredible to see this because if you remember from the reading um, on Friday, you would have known that Peter actually denied Jesus three times. Um, and so for the past what, three days, Peter has been living in this condemnation because he basically denied the Lord and Savior, his Lord and Savior who actually saw that he denied him um, and now he's he in his mind his Lord is dead and there's no way for him to be forgiven so it's like when he heard that there's a chance that Jesus has actually risen from the dead there was this tiny bit of hope that he had and so he rushed there immediately and it's just so incredible to see that example because oftentimes when we are in condemnation we tend to do the opposite we want to hide away from God you know like Adam and Eve hid from the Lord in the garden after they sinned um, and many of us are like that today but we see that just a glimmer of hope and Peter just rushed straight to the tomb just to see if his Lord was actually there despite knowing that he's living in this condemnation in his mind it's it's incredible we're at verse 15 now. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmanus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, 
Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. <laughs> he asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things? he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and or rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but they did not find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said. They did not see Jesus. He said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? They still did not understand the true mission of Jesus. And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within, within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, it is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told them what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? <laughs> they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, this is what I told you while I was with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. He was referring to the Holy Spirit here. Verse 50. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshiped him returned to Jerusalem with great joy and they stayed continually at the temple praising God and that was Luke um, chapter 24 which spoke about Jesus's resurrection after he was risen and how he assembled the disciples together once again 
and I just think it's just so beautiful you know it's so crazy that Jesus could be in your presence and you don't even realize it you really don't um, but there's just so much stuff to take out of this but you know the more the, the one I want to emphasize the most on right now is just that our Lord is living he has been risen and as he said like you cannot see a ghost through these things um, he is risen alive and well and his sacrifice for us on the cross is the reason why you and I can go on today and so let us rejoice together this Easter Monday knowing that all is well knowing that it is well knowing that the work that Jesus came to do has been completed and that it is finished as he said so that was today's video guys thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed your Easter holiday I hope that you got some rest I hope that it was very mindful and reflective for you and that you got some time to really just spend with the Lord um, be safe out there remember obey all the protocols whether you're in Jamaica or elsewhere and just really continue to be mindful of our mission here as, as Christians on earth which is to spread the gospel in every area of our lives as much as we can with everyone as we can thank you so much for watching i hope this was enjoyable please give it a like subscribe if you're new to my channel and feel free to comment down below if you have anything to say or if you just wanted to just you know connect with me feel free to do so but thank you guys so much for watching this is chanella and i am now tuning out from kingston jamaica bye